I'm Anna and I'm installing a hitch on a Nissan Versa. And this can actually take you to some really pretty cool places like camping and biking. And you can even tow a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. And we're gonna break it down. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So the first step is removing your exhaust hangers to lower the exhaust. And it's going to be on your passenger side. They're located at the back end of the vehicle and closer to the front. And with most vehicles, you actually need to support the exhaust. But in this case, this car actually has a crossbody that will actually support it, so you don't need to do that. You can use lubricant, soapy water, or a PB blaster. The second step is going to be with a 10 millimeter socket, you're going to remove two bolts that holds the heat shield in place. We're going to lower it so we can trim it later. I went ahead and I just measured where the access hole is going to be at to give access to the heat shield. So I went ahead and I just drew a line and I will be trimming this with an aerosol today. Now that we've trimmed our heat shield, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it using the furthest most forward bolt because the hitch will actually hold the back side of that heat shield in place. All right, so the next step is going to be removing the rubber plug on this driver's side. We're going to be enlarging our access holes since our carriage bolt doesn't actually fit, neither does our spacer. So on both sides, we will be enlarging our holes. So we're gonna, going to be using the reverse fish wire technique. Connect your coiled piece to your bolt, fish it through your access hole and with your spacer, pulling it down so that the bolt and the spacer don't come out. And now we're going to repeat the same steps on the passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and install our hitch. You all actually has a exclusive hitch jack, so it makes the installation significantly easier. And if you don't have access to one, I would recommend going ahead and having a second pair of hands. Okay, so before we actually raise the hitch, we're gonna go ahead and insert our fish wire straight into the hitch holes where we're going to go ahead and torque it down, just so that when we raise it, the bolts actually don't go back into the frame and we lose them. All right, so next step, we're gonna be taking our spacer and our carriage bolt, and we're going to be putting it right through our tow hook to connect to the actual hitch itself. Now that we have all of our bolts in place, we're gonna go ahead and start on the driver's side and on the underbody uh, where the hitch is, where we're going to start bolting everything down. We have a spacer, we have a conical washer, and we have a nut that we're gonna go ahead and put up here. Go ahead and put on our conical washer and nut onto our tow hook. So next step is going to be on the passenger side, removing the wire and then installing our clonic washer and our nut. So now that everything's in place, our jack is out of the way, we are now going to go ahead and torque. On our passenger side and on our driver's side, we'll be using a 17 millimeter. And then on our tow hook, we're going to actually be using a 19 and then just refer to your manufacturer specs. All right, so now that everything is torqued to what it needs to be, we are going to go ahead and raise our exhaust. Thank you so much for joining me on doing this hitch on the Nissan Versa, and we will see you guys next time. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a one and a quarter inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is five and a half inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 12 inches. 
This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.